Good afternoon. It is September 4th, and this is episode four of Rob Explains, your daily podcast discussing and explaining cool, random, and interesting things. I am, of course, Rob, and today we are going to change things up a little bit. I've been talking about severe weather over the last couple of episodes, and I do have a few more topics to cover in that, but I wanted to switch gears and go to something a little bit different. Over the past few months, we've been dealing with a global pandemic that has been impacting nearly everyone and nearly every aspect of our lives. Here in the United States, starting in late March, we actually went into quarantine where we had to stay home. Stay at home orders were in effect here in Los Angeles, where I'm located, for about six weeks and probably should have been in place a little longer. But since the pandemic has started, we have put a high priority on cleaning and making sure everything is sanitized and virus free. And that leads me to the topic of today. You've probably cleaned all around your house and your office if you, like me, are still going into an office. You've cleaned countertops, you've cleaned high-touch areas like your refrigerator and your stove, but what about your doorknob? That's probably the most high-touch surface in your home or your office, and there are probably dozens of them around. Have you thought about those? Well, I have some good news for you. Many doorknobs, especially here in the United States, are made of brass and copper. And you might ask yourself, well, why is that? Well, the truth is, the original reason is because brass and copper are easy to manipulate and they're easy to shape into a doorknob. And before the Industrial Revolution, when everything was made by hand, this was just the easiest metal to work with. Now, after the Industrial Revolution, it became a stylization. All doorknobs are bronze or brass or this kind of coppery golden color. So we're just going to keep that up. And even though we have machines to make them, we'll continue to use bronze and copper. And you're probably asking yourself, Rob, what does this have to do with a pandemic? Well, there is an interesting side effect of having brass and copper be the main metals that doorknobs are made of. And it relates to maybe you don't have to worry about the cleanliness of your doorknob because a brass and copper doorknob is actually self-cleaning. Now, I say that a little in jest. Self-cleaning means something else to modern civilization, but those metals do actually impede bacterial and viral growth on the surfaces. It makes a very hostile environment for bacteria and virus to grow. And that's thanks to the oligodynamic effect. The metals of brass and copper give off ions every single day. Every moment that they're there, the molecules of the metal are giving off ions. Now, while this has a minimal, if no, effect on you while you're opening and closing your door, it has a devastating effect on mold, bacteria, viruses, spores, and other things that may infect your body. So while you wouldn't be safe if someone who was ill touched that doorknob just before you, having just a few hours between the last viral touch and your own can make the difference because that doorknob is protecting you from the virus. For a total disinfectant effect, you're gonna need about eight hours. But keep in mind that not everyone will grab a doorknob in exactly the same way, and you may not have the virus on your hand. There's a lot of factors at play here, right? And just the idea that if I forget to wipe down this high contact area, that knob is looking out for me. Now be careful, not all doorknobs are made of brass and copper. Stainless steel is also very popular, especially in the United States. And stainless steel can be a hotbed of microorganisms, and it does not have the same disinfectant effect of real brass or copper. And while this topic is a great excuse to learn about the oligodynamic effect and the fact that a metal can be disinfectant, it also should have us thinking about a few other things, like how long will a virus or a bacteria live on certain surfaces in our homes? Countertops, stainless steel appliances, the clothing, the sheets in our home, these all have different times that the virus will maintain viability on them. And we should know those things and we should keep them handy and we should make sure that we are disinfecting high traffic, high contact areas. 
And that probably means also the doorknob while you're at it. And let it be a good reminder every time you grab your brass doorknob that although that may be looking out for you, maybe it's time to go around and do a little cleaning and disinfecting. That's all for today. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Rob Explains. Make sure you're following us on social media at Rob Explains. Did I get something wrong? Do you have a correction or maybe a subject you'd like me to cover? Send me an email, rob at robexplains.com or just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get to it right after the show. Thanks again for joining me and look for a new episode tomorrow. New episodes every single day. Make sure you subscribe to get those episodes delivered right to your phone or your other devices. But until tomorrow, take care of yourselves and each other. Have a great day.